Yes, cardiovascular disease in Africa is more common than mo most people are aware about. And we have um, diseases which are unique to Africa, which is very little known. We have certain diseases which are more common here in other parts of the world. And we actually have an increasing numbers of the what we call the so-called diseases of lifestyle. Because especially in urban areas, Africans are getting more obese, they're not doing enough physical exercise, they therefore develop hypertension, diabetes, and they end up with heart attacks, the heart giving up, what we call heart failure, and strokes. So the, the, what I presented yesterday in my inaugural lecture was a summary of the research we have done over the past 10 years. In 2005, we, we started with a very simple project where we basically wanted to know what kind of heart problems do people have who come to Bargwana's hospital. And we did a study in altogether 8,000 consecutive pa patients who came to Bargwana's hospital, mainly referred from the Soweto clinics, but also coming from the neighboring countries, working in South Africa. And we, we documented that we see a large number of the diseases of poverty, like rheumatic heart disease, TB, tuberculosis affecting the hearts, but also an increasing number of patients suffering from hyper poorly treated blood pressure, uh, poorly treated diabetes leading to heart problems and, and strokes. And as we have done that now for five years, we came up with certain recommendations. Our research was, was published uh, worldwide in very uh, prestigious journals and we created a lot of awareness about cardiac conditions in, in particular in Soweto and in South Africa. And what we now would, what we are now going to do, we, we know already, is to expand this kind of research um, into other African countries. First, there will be a specific research done now here in Cape Town, where I'm working now. And then I have um, collaborators in Sudan, and Tanzania, and Kenya, and Nigeria, and Mozambique, and we will build a network of researchers who look at cardiovascular diseases, their risk factors, and obviously how to treat them and to prevent them in all those countries. It's peripartum cardiomyopathy was, is a disease which is more common in African women than in other population group. And when I started to do my research, very little was known about this condition. When I came to South Africa in 92, I was puzzled to see a disease which I never learned about when I went to medical school in Germany. And I started a very simple project, simply observing who is getting the disease, what kind of, what happens to the woman. And it's very sad, it's a disease that a healthy woman get after having had a baby. And about the heart is virtually giving up and about 20% of the women are dying. So then we did extensive research with people from, from America, from Germany, trying to understand the disease. And we actually were very fortunate to come up with an explanation. We know it's an abnormal breastfeeding hormone those women are producing. And after five more years doing intensive research, we, we uh, found out that there is a certain medication how you can stop the breastfeeding and the women who are at risk and prevent the disease or also treat the disease. So, so our research and PA part on cardiopsy started from describing the problem, finding a mechanism, treating the disease, and now we actually I'm leading a very large study in Europe where we create awareness for the disease also in other countries and hopefully preventing that more women die of that condition. It's it's not always easy to diagnose it early because the women they 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 get the baby, they, they are fine, they go home. And the, the disease typically develops four, five, eight weeks after you had your baby, out of the blue. So you get more short, you get suddenly short of breath, you feel tired, you can't climb stairs. And that is the right time where the patient should be referred to, to us or obviously to any other doctor. And then you, you stop the breastfeeding and you treat those women. We, we treat this condition by a medication which is not particularly expensive and it's even in, available in many clinics. It's called bromocryptin. It's a medication, it's a generic, so it's not only produced by a single company, it's produced by a number of companies and it stops that you can breastfeed. So in women who develop this disease and have those high chance of dying, 
they, they, will do, they cannot breastfeed, but they will survive, they will have a healthy heart, the, the baby will have a mother, so it's, it's worthwhile um, taking, accepting that, that you cannot breastfeed, preventing obviously a deadly condition. And we make sure that the babies are getting formula milk on prescription, so that obviously the child is also doing well, and we studied that. Um, it, it, it does affect um, a future pregnancy in a way if a woman knows that she has that she will develop the disease. If, if an, um, a woman had already a number of children, we usually recommend that it's wiser not to have more children because the heart is always, it remains with a risky condition for the heart. However, you sometimes have women who don't have, only had one child or the child didn't survive or they really would like to have more children. So we have a special clinic here at Grotesque Hospital, which is a cardiac disease and maternity clinic. So we, all the women get referred to have a heart problem or probably might have a heart problem. And we see those patients monthly and uh, treat them very carefully to, to make sure they don't run into a greater problem. And as soon as they have given birth, they get this medication to stop the breastfeeding or the lactation. And uh, we, we try to create as much awareness as you can for these conditions. Uh, I think in, in Soweto, the nurses really know about that. I mean, we, I gave so many lectures, there are posters, there are pamphlets. We, we get a lot of referrals there. Uh, even here, I must say, the gynecologists know about this condition. We try really to promote that people know about that because it's something you can treat.